Some might say I treat Lola like my baby, but to me she's just my princess. A pamper of everything I can. She has a walk-in wardrobe, she has a four-poster doggy bed, but to me, she's just like a child. Do they feel the call? Should you get a coat for them outside? You know, people ask me this all the time. I would personally, in my opinion, say yes. If they are feeling the cold, then they do need some sort of outerwear that is going to be comfortable. But do make sure your dog is comfortable in clothes before you start dressing them up. If they're uncomfortable at any point, yes. take them off. I think it's probably a very personal thing, as you said. They've Most got to definitely. Be comfortable as well. What we are planning to do is have probably one of the biggest weddings for dogs that we've ever seen. The venue looks great, you know, there's a lot of areas that, that are really, really pretty. What I wanted to tell you was that what we are planning to do is actually um, hold, and you might want to stop for this bit. I'm stopping. <laughs> We're going to hold the UK's biggest doggy party ever. A dog party? <laughs> okay. There's a lot of people that I know have pampered pooches and a lot of people that want to celebrate the lives of dogs. So for us, what we want to do is hold a huge doggy party looking at approximately 500 to 1,000 dogs in attendance. <laughs> Be honest with me, it's fine. Honestly, it's not a problem. Be honest with me because I have to find a venue. I would say no, not suitable. Right. Probably for such a party. It is the poo, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Yes, mm. unless you've got a way of stopping them, which... Corks. <laughs> well, I actually saw him earlier on today and he was really quite hairy and very, very chilled out with the girls. Um, As many old men are. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he absolutely <laughs> loved it. Um, he's basically had a wash and a haircut today and he has the feather in, which is actually the area on the back and the hind legs um, actually trimmed and styled into some sort of shape. He's had his eyebrows done today, so... A bit of plucking and trimming going on there. <laughs> what we've gone for today is a very English looking gentleman look. Bumblebee I can see madam in. Are they all rich, these clients? Not all rich. They no, must but they, be rich. They save. Yeah. And if they've saved really hard, I'll give them a little bit off. Oh, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's a donkey. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> do they smell? No. no. Well, why should they smell? Because they've got dreadlocks, haven't they? Yeah, and dreadlocks, right. like, you only get dreadlocks from, like, having dirty air. Yeah, but they get rain on them and so on, so they have rainwater rinses all the time. But no Pan 10 or VO5? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Melody, so, um, what's on the menu today, then? For starters, we've got the Bow Wow Chicken Liver Parfait. Mmm. She's having a good sniff. Oh! This is good, this is very good. Can you tell me what's actually the ingredients in each of the cocktails? This one is based on a chicken broth with a rawhide twizzler stick. I think she's more interested in the treat rather than the actual drink. So have they sampled any of the delights today on the menu? They have scoffed a lot. <laughs> If you have responsible owners like we've got here today in the studio, it can be quite fun. Um, there are certain games that you can play that probably people will laugh at, but you've got things such as pass the parcel, you know. <laughs> it's always the cleaning nice. up afterwards though, isn't it? You know, we had 350 dogs at our party and there was a lot of cleaning up. I have an amazing stadium that will allow me to do all of the kind of crazy things that I want to go on. If I make it look pretty and lovely and all pink and black and really glam, it could work. I really do think it could work. With the collar and the lead set, um, mm -hmm. they're actually made from organic materials um, and they're all handmade, so they're very good for any That's dogs why that have allergies. That's 35 pounds. Yeah, yeah, anything like that that they're not used to, you know, like PVC or anything like that, they are, they are brilliant. An essential ingredient with any doggy party is the treats and the food that you can actually give them. So. The first plate that we have here is extremely pretty, um, you know, with the ice creams. We have the doggy donuts and the cookies. I'm loving this pink one at the moment. This is great. I think the party was a big celebration of dogs. You know, for us, they are part of our families. We celebrate birthdays, we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate christenings, we celebrate other religious ceremonies. You know, why would we not celebrate our dogs? It's been an absolutely fantastic day for me. We've done this in a really, really short space of time and everybody that's come and supported us and actually is still here, thank you. So, so much. You get so much unconditional love from a dog. They're not here for very, very long. And for me, I want to give them the best life that I can give them while they're here in return for the love that they give to me. It's been a really, really good buzzy atmosphere. We've sampled canapes, we've sampled cocktails. Did you have fun? Yeah. I think she did, but I really do think it's time for us to go home now.
It's been great hitting the town with my partner in crime, but it's off to bed for us too.